Anurban, if we want to understand intelligence uh, in, in the universe, or certainly on Earth, generally we look at the evolution of neural systems in brains as they get bigger and bigger and we in, uh, impute more and more intelligence to that. You've taken an approach to the way nature creates intelligence from a different perspective. Uh, how does it work? Yeah, so uh, normally we understand that um, if we get more number of neurons, we become more intelligent. Yeah. Then this theory was debunked. Then new theory came that um, if you have more density of neurons, yeah. uh, then you become more intelligent. That also debunked. So currently it doesn't exist. There are lots of lots of theories exist that you have to you have to evolve your brains. You have to get more neurons and something more, bigger more brain. More connections. <laughs> more connections. More complex connections yeah. and more more complex connection. I think just the idea of complexity is also when you don't understand something, you say <laughs> it's complex yeah. and it's something. So I feel that uh, the way we are trying to understand the consciousness that will give answer to everything, if it is truth. For an example, we are suggesting that from Planck world to the universe, everything is connected by chain of vibrations. Okay, So 10 to the minus 40 hertz to 10 to the plus 40 hertz. It's a big 10 to the 80 hertz stream. And we, the living system, are a small part of it, this, this large stream. That is plus minus 10 to the power 10 hertz, so 10 to the power 20 hertz bandwidth around. So we get a, get a conscious being. Now, to become more intelligent, we need to define what is intelligence. When you can feel nature, understand nature, explain it in a better way, a natural event, then we can call you as intelligent. That means the string that we are talking about, the vibration string that you have, that should harmonize more and better and better and better. So that is the part of evolution. It is not just adding a few neurons. The total number of neurons that in my brain and total number of neurons in your brain could be similar, but it could, you could be much more intelligent because you could feel the nature much better way than I do yeah. because there could be some set of composition of symmetries that I cannot explain right now. We need to measure and we need to identify all those particular symmetries, superposition of those particular symmetries or rhythms that can take you closer to nature, then you can understand the event around you that is happening much faster than I do. And that will make you more intelligent. So, If we yeah. look at species, uh, you've talked about ants and parallel processing and that ants or, or different seemingly very low level life can actually have a very high sophistication of yeah. computing power. Yes. So. Um, uh, the way we, we normally see at, uh, at computing power and we get amazed because those people who say that I want to build a brain as powerful as, yeah, yeah. as, um, as humans, many projects are going on around the world at current, currently. So, so when, when people say that and then other people start challenging them, okay, if you think that you can make a human brain, yeah. then make, an, make intelligent as good as an ant <laughs> or paramecium or something. Actually, the qualities that we define as intelligence as are some life fundamental desires. We miss the big point that even that ant tries to modify and evolve itself to harmonize more with the nature and, and becoming more suitable to the, uh, to, the, to the natural processes. So definition of intelligence should be shifted from those basic elementary criterions yeah. first. For an example, you see that new and new viruses are coming up. Yeah. They are uh, kicking off, siding off the, uh, the existing antibiotics, which are, which are yeah. very powerful. So what are they doing? They are changing, they are making a small change in the protein structure. Why don't people learn from this? This is the simplest case yes. when you change your symmetry a little bit and you, you are more harmonizing with the, with the, with the nature, right? Yeah. So you are killing us, the virus is killing us. That's bad for us, but good for them. So, right? So how it, uh, how it is doing? It's just changing a symmetry of its part so that it, it can rhythm or it can synchronize with my rhythms or my kind of vibrations so that I adapt him much better. It becomes part of it and its objective is to destruction yeah. and it, it carries out. So why don't we learn from the virus? I think, yeah. I think more than going and trying to learn what is intelligence from, from yeah. the ant or even paramecium or, or, or even sea elegance, which has 
roughly 300 neurons, yeah. we should go and look at virus, you know. <laughs> they are the, they're the good teacher and the best teacher, I would say, for consciousness. And because that, that is really the demonstration of intelligence. Demonstration how, of intelligence. How, how, and what is the co computational power of that? I mean, is it, is, is, is it yeah. related to the number of yeah, molecules? Yeah. yeah. Again, this word also I debate. Because, because if I believe that from Planck world to the entire universe, part of the universe are all connected by chain of vibrations, small chain of vibrations. We are a small integral part of it. We are a small string of the bigger string. And at that point of time, where is computation? Computation is a process where there is a beginning and there is an end. Yes. There is a logical which, is, which was um, uh, decided before the process begins. I didn't know what a question are you going to ask me, right? So I didn't prepare it, and you were also not ready for the for the for for my answers. But your brain took this information from me and processed it immediately inside your brain without writing any software code. There was no right. software in, uh, engineers here, which which we did that. So where is computation? There was never any computation. There was never any program written between you and me when we are conver yeah. carrying out the conversation. So the whole idea of computation is wrong. There was no computation ever. So basically, you are trying to do is harmonizing the things. And when you are harmonizing the things, you need to make subtle changes. That is called a decision, and that is everything. So you need to make subtle changes to harmonize your, uh, your rhythms or cycles more with the immediate environment of yours. And you are taking certain decisions. That is your decision or thought or even decision making. So we cannot say, we, ca we, don't use, we cannot use the word then computation by the classical terms how the scientist defines it. Mm, mm, mm.